What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel here at Jay's Kennel Corner. It is your boy, Jay. Hi. Hello. How are you? Today, I have for you a very exciting haul. It is my L3 Customs, and your boy snapped. Yeah, I did a little bit of damage. You know, when it comes to Customs, it fuels my spirit. There's like a fire that rages through my soul when I get to do customs. My brain acts like a child. I start it starts doing cartwheels and stuff. You know, I, I get I get this real giddy on the inside. And because I loved like coming up with my own blends, it just it makes me happy and it brings me joy. So I got 14 blends here. Um, all of cre all of them created by me and my little noggin. And um, a lot of these blends are from are are inspired from places I've been, things I've experienced, things I've done. Um, so when I get to those, you will I will give you a little backstory on what those are. So let's just dive on into my custom blends here. So um, let's start off with the samples first. We gotta love our sample. So let's just dive on into what the samples are. This was scheduled to be uh, delivered on Monday. Um, however, it came on Saturday. So by the time you watch, by the time you watch this, yesterday is when they got delivered. So the first sample that we have is. Baloo sugar. Uh, today is October 3rd and zucchini bread. Now y'all know I don't like bakery. <laughs> but I will say this smells quite nice. Very heavy on the blue sugar. And I get the zucchini bread. I don't know what today is October 3rd smells like because I've never had it for purposes that is bakery. So, next up we have Father Christmas. Let's see what this smells like, right quick. Okay, I can't exactly tell what I'm smelling, but I want to say there's probably orange in this. There's definitely some, some sort of like sweet citrus in that, I think. And then here we have uh dust buster dust buster ha i'm dust buster okay sorry um <laughs> oh this is a laundry blend <sighs> not sure exactly what laundry i'm smelling i'm going to take a wild guess that there is gain island fresh in this or downy blue it's one of those. I could be very wrong, but whatever it is, I do like it. So I will more than likely melt that at some point. Now let's dive into these customs. What made me want to do 14 blends? I don't know. I originally only had six and my brain wouldn't stop coming up with stuff. And I was like, oh, let me add this. Oh, let me add that. Oh, let me add this. Oh, I got to add that. So in the end, I end up having 14 blends. So don't judge me, please. Thank you. So let's dive on into the first one right here in the back. This one is called Small Town Boy, which is Southern Sweet Tea, Georgia Peach, Blackberry, and Iced Tea. And I named it this because I am a small town boy myself. And my grandmother would always make some good old homemade sweet tea and she would typically do like a peach sweet tea or a blackberry tea so that's where i got this idea from so let's dive on into what's in the back bag and these shapes are like puzzle pieces like here's one right here puzzle piece and then we got like a star in here let me show you the star. That's pretty cool. So let's sniff this uh this bad boy. Ooh, 
this smells absolutely how I hoped it would smell. Oh, this is so good. You definitely do get that southern sweet tea and that iced tea. And you get that Georgia peach. And it's it's not it's not cat pea peach, it's like legit peach. Oh. It's like it's like peach juice. It's so good. And that blackberry is just rotting in the background. Oh, this is so good. I love it. 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 And let me give you the, like, let me tell you the timeline. I submit, I pay for my order. I want to say it was March the 9th. Let me look at the invoice. Hold on. Yes. Order date was March 9th. And these got delivered on whatever day yesterday was. Um, <laughs> what was yesterday? Um, yeah, whatever day yesterday was, that's when, the, that's when it got delivered. So very quick turnaround time, I must say. Next up, we have Emerald Isle, which is Rainstorm, Evenings in the Hamptons, and Doom Grass. And Emerald Isle is actually a beach here in North Carolina that I've been to several times. So that's kind of where this came from. So let's uh, get into how this smells. And this is a bag of hearts and what else is this? Hearts and like seashells and like some squares, some little blossoms. Let me show you here. Got some hearts, some blossoms, some like, that's, that's, that's a seashell, right? I'm not crazy, I promise. Okay. <laughs> oh, this smells absolutely beautiful. This is beautiful. You get that doom grass. Oh my God, it's so nice. Mm -hmm. And you get that rainstorm. So it's like, imagine like sniffing like, like doom grass after it just rained along the beach. Oh, so fresh and green. It's like a dewy green scent. Oh my God. If you don't like fresh cut grass, but you want like, a nice breezy green grass type of scent I definitely recommend going with doom grass mm, so good oops sorry it's, it's like it's so breezy and beachy and aquatic uh, just how I imagined it to be next we have here this one is Tropical Treasures, which is coconut lime breeze, coconut leaves, and guava. When it comes to customs, I'm always like thinking about, okay, what would, how would this go with this? Would this go with this? What if I did that with that? What if I did this with this and that? So <laughs> my brain just really goes all over the place when it comes to me to uh, doing customs. So these are like seashells and some more little blossoms some more hearts so i got a seashell so this is um what it says there again and a little seashell shape let's give it a sniffy oh this is beautiful yes 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 like super tropical you really do get that coconut leaves which was one of my top favorite candles from bath and body works when i first got the candles and i first had coconut leaves fell in love this is so good the coconut leaves with that guava is just like what mm. and then you get that coconut lime breeze on oh oh this is so good so 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 good look when it comes like i'm picky about coconut scents too like really the only coconut I really like is coconut leaves and coconut lime breeze. Other than that, I don't like it. <laughs> so, <laughs> coconut to me is just weird. I don't know. So next we have here is a siren's lullaby, which is saltwater mermaid and sleepy time. So I wanted like a um like a like an aquatic-ish type of like bedtime blend. So that's kind of where I got inspiration for this one. We got a cool little doodad of a guy here. So here we go. 
Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, my God. So good. Mm, the sleepy time with that saltwater mermaid. Oh. Oh, my God. This is... Mm. It's so, like, it's aquatic and it's, like, kind of sweet in the background. Mm. And then you get that sleepy time, which, like, just adds this... It's, like... Oh, it's just so relaxing. It's almost like you're taking a nap on the beach. That's what, <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. So good. Definitely a blend I recommend trying for yourself. By all means, if there is any blends I have that you want to try, by all means, have at it, <laughs> you know? Because as of right now, the customs um, sign up page uh, will post on her Facebook page is still up and going. So if anything I have here sounds up your alley that you want to try, hey, sign up for the customs and go for it. So this one here is Meet Me at Midnight, which is Blackberry Bay, Lavender and Lemon Mint. And a little story behind this one is um, <laughs> me and my friends back in high school would sometimes go to the park and this is this is when this is when our when this, this is when I was in my senior year of high school and we all had our cars then so sometimes we just want to like get out the house on weekends just for the heck of it so we all be like you know meet me at midnight you know at the park so that's <laughs> that's kind of where I got this from um, I don't know that the sit notes don't exactly apply to the name but i just figure you know it like blackberries is like a you know dark and you know it yeah anyways so that <laughs> that's a little backstory behind that nothing crazy let's give it a smell here oh beautiful yep mm, the blackberry bay with that lemon mint what oh my god oh this is like this is like a beautiful like nighttime breezy spring scent. Like this is mm, it's like you're just like sitting in your bedroom or like in your living room and it's like a breezy cool spring night and you have your windows cracked open. This is it it just evokes that entire situation. So nice. And then the lemon mint just adds this extra touch of this freshness and just like <sighs> to that blackberry bay. And then the oh and that lavender. Oh, this is this is a great, this is a great nighttime blend too. I wasn't intending on it to be a nighttime blend, but it can definitely be a nighttime blend. For sure. Next we have. <laughs> 90s baby which is what i am uh blue raspberry cotton candy rainbow sherbet and dreamsicle and pineapple and look at this like neon pink wax totally like a 90s thing right <laughs> so i was born in 91 if many of you didn't know so i am a 90s baby at my core so look at that talk about vibrant what is up dude all right oh this is a fun scent oh this is so cool you definitely get that dream sickle oh <laughs> wow and you get that right in that that blue raspberry cotton candy like i really wanted this to have like a fun funky fruity just like carefree blend but that's where i got this from like everything that everything that reminded me of this like growing up and like being like a 90s kid like just fruity fun and yeah this is everything this is this is everything i want it to be yeah it's it's heavier on the dream sickle right now but i do get that blue raspberry cotton candy in the back mm, and that pineapple oh so good man love that love that so much like if i could just create customs and that's it i'd be so happy <laughs> all right next one is um 
Bro, calm down. This is green tea, lemongrass, cool, cool cucumber, and garden mint. Like, bro, calm down. <laughs> Which, like I say often to some of my friends, I'm like, bro, calm down. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Calm down, dude. So you got a little seashell here. Oh, this is... This is this. This screams a spring afternoon. It's so aromatic and just like relaxing and breezy. And oh, that green tea lemongrass with that cool cucumber. Mm, and that cucumber is like a very like dewy, sweet cucumber. Almost like cucumber water. And then you got that garden mint. Which is like that fresh mint. Mmm. And then you add to that that, that green tea and lemongrass. Oh. And the lemongrass is not heavy in this oil. It, you mainly get like a fresh brewed green tea. With like the, with like the lemongrass just, just in the background. Peeking around from the corner. This is so good. If you really love just aromatic spring. Like springy breezy scents. Give this blend a go. I think you really enjoy it. Because I certainly do. So there we have that one. Next up, we have Mountain Daddy, which is a zest, spring breeze, stainless steel, and white birch. So I think that's pretty self explanatory why I called it Mountain Daddy. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, okay it's it, it yeah okay anyway so this is a little uh brown sea show everything everything i wanted to be yep it's just like a masculine fresh woodsy scent you definitely get that white birch right off the bat and then you get that zest in the background and that spring breeze is as this nice like breezy open airs open airs scent to it mmm this is so good this is like this is like a great bathroom scent like for my guys out there or my ladies if you like you know like masculine woodsy scents that's more like that has like a bit of that has a bit of like just like more airy than earthy I recommend this blend too. This is a this is this is a great like guy's bathroom set. It's clean, it's masculine, it's not cologne, it's slightly woodsy. Oh, so good. So, 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 so good. Love that. All right. Next we have uh keep it on the lush, which is bamboo. A uh, cool cucumber, aqua verbena, and beet sage mint. So as you can see, I love my I love my fresh green scents. I just it it brings me joy. So this one we have a little oink oink. We got a little oink oink, and uh, we have some um, some little O's here. Let's 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 smell the oink oink. <laughs> okay. Oh yes 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 yes. Just this is just a. <laughs> I named it this for a reason. It's a lush green, breezy scent. You really do get that bamboo, and her bamboo is not sharp. It's more of like a smoother, sweet bamboo. Mmm. It's ending and then added with that aqua verbena and that beet sage. Oh. Mmm. It's like a very aquatic bamboo scent. And then that cucumber is as this as as this like coolness to it. It's oh. This is so good. I love it. I love it. Love it. Yes. Okay. Put that. 
And then next we have here is Hawaiian Slumber, which is Hibiscus, Starfruit, and Liana's Lullaby. So with this, I wanted, like, I had in mind, like, you know, you going to a, like, upscale Hawaiian resort and taking a little nappy nap, you know? So <laughs> that's where uh, this blend came from in my little head. We got a little oink oink. So here we go. Let's give it a sniff. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely freaking beautiful. Oh my god. The hibiscus with that, with Aliana's lullaby. Oh my. Oh. It literally smells like, in my mind, I envision like you're you step into your hotel room in Honolulu or something and there's like hibiscus there's like there's like a hibiscus plant like on the table and you have and you open the window and you just like let in just like that that beachy Hawaiian air oh and then there's like a table of like a basket of like star fruit and then like you just like you get like this this swirl of just Hawaiian tropical goodness. And then and oh this oh guys, this is good. This is so good. Oh and this is my first time having starfruit and wax. And starfruit itself has a very um light fragrance. But it's I can I can smell it in this blend. That hibiscus with that Liana's lullaby, that is, oh, wow. If, yeah, that's so good. That's, that's good, that's a winner. That's a winner. Do you guys ever do customs and then you just, when you, when you smell it and you just like, damn, that smell good. And you like, be like, I did that. It's okay, me too. All right, so. Next up we have here is Chartreuse, which I'm surprised that a lot of people do not know what Chartreuse is. It's actually a shade of green. It's like a, like a yellowy green color. So that's where I got, um, that's, and I named this because for some reason when I put these blends together, I thought of that color. Uh, this is white tea, kiwi, Brandon Smith apple, and, green, and, and a green clover and aloe. And so for some reason, I, I just I just saw that color with these uh, scent notes. So I called it Chartreuse. Nothing really crazy, just my brain. <laughs> oh, this is, oh my God. You get that Brendan Smith apple and you get that green clover and aloe and then that, oh, and then you get that white tea. Wow. And that kiwi just adds this extra pop of like juiciness. Oh, like I don't smell it. Like it doesn't stand out. It just blends into that Granny Smith apple and that green clover and aloe. Just add, oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Mm. So beautiful. And there's a whole difference between Granny Smith Apple and Green Apple. Green Apple smells like the Airhead candy or like Jolly Ranchers, whereas Granny Smith Apple smells like an actual, you know, green apple. So that's why I always make sure I say Granny Smith Apple because I don't want Green Apple candy. <laughs> Next up here. We have Drunken Truth, which is Margaritaville, Strawberry Daiquiri, and Pink Lemonade. Just a random blend I came up with. Nothing really crazy. No story behind it. It just sounded fun, so I did it. There you go. Oh, this is, oh, this is, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you definitely get that Margaritaville. And that pink lemonade, ooh, this is, this is funky in a good way. It's like very like, it's very zesty. It's a zesty 
blend. Mm -hmm. I mainly get the Margaritaville first and then that pink lemonade, but I do get the strawberry daiquiri in there too. It's kind of in the background a little bit, but it's, ooh, mm, really good. I, ooh, I like that a lot. You know, I love making like, coming up with like fun blends as well as like more like calm, cool, collective blends too. Love that, love that so much. All right, next up here, we have 405 Mesa Circle, and this is Pacific Woods, Seattle Rain, and Green Clover and Aloe. Now, I named this, <laughs> I named this 405 Mesa Circle because it was the address of my apartment when I was in college, and I went to college in the mountains, and that was my address, 405 Mesa Circle. And, uh... When you stepped out on the deck, it overlooked like a valley and like the, like if it rained or something like the fall would just like hover over the trees and it was just like, it was so dreamy. So <laughs> I really wanted to create a scent that reminded me of that. So that's why I named it 405 Mesa Circle because it reminded me of being in my apartment back in, uh, back in college. And it smells, <laughs> it smells like I'm sitting outside on my, uh, on my deck and just smelling that fresh mountain after rain air. It literally reminds me of that. Oh, take me back to the mountains, please. You really do get that Pacific woods and you do get that Seattle rain. It's such a, it's just like, it's just such a nice woodsy, aquatic scent. This is so good. Uh, and I got the idea to use Pacific Woods um, by way of Danny because she has this blend just by itself. And I was like, ooh, that sounds amazing. Let me use that in a blend. So never had smelled it before by itself, but I knew that looking at the scent notes, I would love it. So I took that and then added the Seattle Rain and the Green Clover Aloe. It, it just, yeah, yeah. Mm. This reminds me so much of being back at school. Wow. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, we're down to our last one. All right, and this one here is Strawberry Festival, which is fresh picked strawberries, summer scoops, strawberry bread, and waffle cone. Now, y'all are probably thinking, Jay, what the hell? This is so out of your norm. I know, let me explain. So, <laughs> I came up with this blend because living in NC, the strawberry is our state fruit. So I've been to the Strawberry Festival numerous times and I wanted to create a scent that reminded me of that. So there was one portion of the festival where this vendor, it was a, it was a, um, it was a married couple and they created like their own like strawberry baked goods. Uh, they had like strawberry like pound cake and strawberry cookies and strawberry jam and strawberry waffles and strawberry like just anything strawberry baked goods that you wanted they probably had it so that's where i got this blend from and listen <laughs> y'all are like what in the heck are you doing creating a freaking strawberry bakery blend i just explained to you i was a little crazy so we get this like cool like chocolate bar or you can call it strawberry bar <laughs> let's give it a smell oh my god <sighs> listen i am in love with this i am in freaking love with this blend it is so, listen, it literally, okay, hear me out. It smells like you took a fresh baked slice of strawberry bread and you added strawberry ice cream on top of it. 
and then you drizzled like a strawberry sauce over that and then you added like crushed waffle cone pieces on top of that and you just mix it all together <laughs> that's what that's what this smells like if you are a strawberry lover and you and you really want just a a nice subtle strawberry bakery that's not too heavy i recommend this blend if i'm telling you that i love it and i hate bakery you'll love it for sure if you love strawberry like i love strawberry and you want just a nice subtle sweet bakery blend that's not gonna like make you sick to your stomach this is you will love this this is so good i am so shocked at how much i love this this was like a wild card blend to me i was like let me let me just take a stab like what would a gay bakery blend smell like and i freaking did it so that is my l3 customs um yeah i i i, I kind of went in i did some damage but when it comes to customs that's what i do i didn't do damage so um thank you for sticking around with me for this long if you're still here thank you for that um you know i love giving you guys a, a good in-depth video so um let me know if any of these blends sound up your alley like drop me a comment let me know let's talk about it um hopefully you decided want to like snack some yourself add them to your list because i love to like know what other folks think of my blends so um are you on the l3 customs list have you gotten yours yet let me know leave me comments i want to talk with you guys and uh yeah so also thanks for the 1300 subscribers hello waxy friends i see you all right so until next time guys i love you all happy melting happy burning and stay safe stay healthy stay happy and until next time i'm out of here bye guys